chapter 17, verse 1. Thank you, Lord. Now, in this chapter, Jesus is praying to Father God. And these words, and these words spake Jesus as he lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Now, this is before he was getting ready to be crucified. Father, the hour has come. Glorify thy Son, that thy Son may glorify thee. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is eternal life, that they may know the only, the, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, Father, glorify thou me with thine own self with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me. And they have kept thy word. Jesus said to some, to some Jewish people that believed in him, if you, said, if you abide in my word, if you stay in my word, if you keep my word, you shall, you shall have life. I have manifested my name unto them, men which thou gavest me out of the world. They, they, Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. In other words, they said, they said they've known everything that, that you've given me is from you. I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them. Say, they have received them. And they have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst sent me. I pray for them. He's talking about his disciples. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. And I come to thee, Holy Father, keep them, keep them through thine own name, those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. Yes. And while I was with them I, in the world, I kept them in thy name. <coughs> Those that have given me I have kept, and none of them is lost but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. And now I come to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that I, they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them. You see, if, we have, if we're given God's word, the world hates us. The world hath hated them because they are not of the world. That's why the world hates us, because we're not of the world. Even as I am not of the world, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but thou shouldest keep them from evil. For they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Yes. God's word, sanctify means make them holy. We're made holy through the truth of God's word. As thou sent them into the world, even so I, even though he has sent me into the world, even so I have sent them into the world. For their sakes I sanctify myself that they also may be sanctified through the truth. That's the truth of the word. Neither pray I for these alone, but for also all them which shall believe on me through their word, that they all may be one, as thou, Father, art in me. The word in is the location. As thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, they also may be one in us. You see, it's a positional location. We are located in Christ because, because we're in him and the Father is in him. Then we're reconciled to the Father. That the world may believe that thou hast sent me, and the glory which thou gavest me I have given them, that they may be one even as we are one. In them, I in them, I in them, and thou in me, that they may be perfect, made perfect in one in Father and Son. That the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Father, I will that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am, that they may be Behold my glory, which thou hast given me, for thou lovest me before the foundations of the world. So Jesus was saying, Father, we need to be one in them, and they need to be one in us. Jesus said in, in John chapter 15, he said, I'm the vine, you're the branches. He said, I'm the vine, you're the branches. He said, if you stay in me, if you abide in me, and my words abide in you, then you can ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Thank you, Lord. We've got to be walking in Christ. It's a positional thing. Amen. And every any day we can decide to not live for God any longer. 
We decided to follow the devil just like Adam did. Adam was born righteous. Adam was born holy. The children of Israel were, were they got delivered out of the land of Egypt out of bondage. And then they backslid. They made idols, started worshiping the idols. And then God opened up the ground and killed thousands of them. Wiped them out. Just Jude talks about that. We need to understand if we live for God, He'll sustain us. He'll be with us. He'll help us. Amen. If we're not living for God, then we're walking out of, into judgment in this life and the life to come. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Father. You're mighty, God. Yes. God is mighty. Yes. We, we, need to, we need to understand that God loves us. And he's there for us. And we can say, Daddy, I need help. Yes. I need strength. Yes. He will give you whatever you need. Yes, amen. He'll give you whatever you need. In 2 Peter chapter 1 it says, Through the knowledge of God, we get knowledge through His Word. Through the knowledge of God, we have everything we need. Through His great and precious promises for this life and godliness. Some pl places, some translations say, we have all, the, all we need to live a godly life. Mm -hmm. To live a godly life. Jesus said, don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about... We, we, you know, most of our worry is about the future things. We need to not worry. I mean, we're not, shouldn't be worried about anything. We should just go to God and give it to God. Yes. Say, Lord, I'm just going to believe you. I'm just going to trust you. If we seek first, Jesus said, don't worry about it. Seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Then all these other things will be added unto you. We can have joy in this life. Jesus said, I, I want them to have joy. God wants us to have prosperity. God takes pleasure in the prosperity of his people. But we prosperity isn't money. Prosperity is joy and peace and, and the Holy Ghost. Peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Now we can you, the, the most poor person financially in the world can have the most happiness. Some of the richest people, they're the most miserable people in the world. It's not what you got physically, it's what you got spiritually. Amen. The joy of the Lord's our strength. Yes. Just keep God first in your life. Amen. Walk in His ways. He'll give you peace that passes all understanding. Amen. Yes, He'll give he you does. strength. He, he will lift you up if you'll humble yourself before God. Amen. That's Thank my you. message. Thank you. Praise God. Thank you. Lord. Hallelujah. Look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. He healed my body. He 